Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm going to do a short talk about the uh, the very traditional, popular brown turkey fig, and why it's so popular and so suitable for the UK climate, and some of the pros and cons of brown turkey. It's certainly the uh, the most iconic fig name known over here and it's probably the one that 90% of garden centres that have figs will have a brown turkey even though you might get other varieties as well. Now we're looking today at my parents huge totally out of control tree again even though I cut it back last year to about a foot from the wall it's now growing 12 feet tall again and come out about 10 feet from the wall um, so I'm, but I'm, what I'm doing today and it's I'm filming this on the 12th of August is doing a little bit of um, Braber fig maintenance for them because my parents are away at the moment in any case they don't know anything about figs they just planted it years ago and um, I normally end up picking and eating a fair number of them now I've picked some fruits today some of which like this one are at peak ripeness and some of which were slightly under ripe um, you can normally tell when a bit of sap comes out the stem if they're uh, not quite ready whereas the ones that, uh, that are more ripe tend to have no sap come out now these aren't quite at peak ripeness although they'd be perfectly edible but what I've actually been doing today and I'll um, show you very quickly is there's a lot of figs on here that are getting close to ripeness and I've actually bought some of my organza bags over them. These are all Braber fruits, as are those ones up there. They're also still Brabers. And these ones here I've bagged. If you look around the tree, you will see that I've bagged quite a lot of fruits. And the ones, the smaller figs you can see are main crop figs, and so they're not going to make it. Well, the reason I wanted to say a few things about brown turkey it, and the reason it's suited to our climate is the tree is a very um it's a late variety basically it's uh, it stays dormant longer than most of my other fig varieties and which means it's uh, it's hard considered hardier therefore than most of the other fig varieties you could certainly get figs on this um up in the colder parts of the UK, probably up in uh, Scotland and uh, the Midlands and Northern Wales. Now the reason for that is because it wakes up late. So this, this is uh, considered to be a braber producing. I wouldn't grow a brown turkey for main crop figs, which is what I'll explain in a minute. Basically, unless you grow them in a greenhouse or conservatory or, uh, or polytunnel. Now what happens with these brown turkeys is because they wake up later, uh, the Braber figs tend to ripen much later, normally from about the middle of August, as you can see here. We've had one fruit off this one, but there's, there's loads and loads of Brabers that are nowhere near ripe yet. So the fruit being a late plant coming out of dormancy, obviously the Brabers start developing much later. Now I've already picked all the Brabers off the large tree in my own garden, um, probably I've got some in the fridge but probably the Brabus will finish by the end of July and I'll, I should get main crop figs off that plant in early October uh, now the main crop figs on my plant are more than double the size of these so it's a, it is a much earlier variety brown turkey is extremely unlikely to produce main crop figs in my parents garden because these figs are probably a good two and a half months away from being ripe which would take us into November now by then the tree will have gone dormant and once the tree's gone dormant it cuts off the sap and energy supply to these main crop figs and they stop developing and dry out so it, it's it's not a fig that suits well growing for main crop uh, main crop fruits unless you put it inside now the other downside of brown turkey is it's not considered to be a gourmet fig the figs are pleasant on it but they're not a particularly sweet or juicy or 
berry-like fig compared to some of the other varieties that you can grow here. Uh, Brabers also don't tend to be as good as main crop figs anyway in a lot of people's eyes, but to be honest, to my plants, the Brabers I've had have been absolutely superb. Now, the other disadvantage of these being so late as a Braber crop, and the reason I've come to bag these, my parents, is come mid August there is a huge surplus of wasps around them as the skin as they start to turn right they attract both well, birds in particular and the birds could peck through these bags although I find the bags are quite an effective deterrent um, but um, more to the point the wasps tend to attack the figs and they ruin them very very quickly and now that's not a, so much of a problem if you get figs that are ripening in sort of mid July but there are less wasps around but by August there's a huge quantity of wasps attacking plums, peaches, nectarines, apricots and of course figs. So they do have a disadvantage by being a late braber but it does mean that if you're in a cooler part of the UK you will probably get braber brown turkey figs by the end of August but you've realistically got zero chance of main crop figs. Now if we look up here these figs here are also bravers and you can see they're at least two weeks away from being ready so they're going to get quite a succession of figs off this plant now um, but I've, I've had to come out here and cover them uh, because they're just going to be gone within two or three days once they reach this level of ripeness and it's a shame to pick them too early when they're not at peak ripeness because they develop that proper sweetness and juiciness on the tree and and they do make they can be a very nice fig if they're allowed to ripen on the tree to full ripeness it would of course help if we had some sun as well there's quite a few hidden ones as i said on this tree um, these ones are getting close to ripeness but i only bought a few bags of me look there's another one up there that could do with bagging um, I'll just have to leave that one but it's not ripe yet but I might bring some more bags on uh, Monday so that I can cover them up because it's a shame to lose them to the wasps there's quite a few round here as well these ones are very close to being ready these ones will be ready in the next two weeks so I mean this is a large well established tree but it is a heavy producer but you do need to prune it look I'm going to pick these actually you do need to and when you're picking things incidentally it's best just to uh, hold them right at the very neck and break them off there so you don't damage the fruit now these will last for quite some time in the fridge if you want to i might as well pick this one as well because um it's quite soft probably leave that till monday i think i can get a bag on that and protect it but you you can see the quantity on here but as i said brown turkey is a fig that you plant, especially if you're on a cooler area, a cooler part of the country, because you rely on it for braber figs. You don't plant brown turkey if you want to get main crop figs. Now, obviously, I'm well aware there will be people that will get on warm, sunny walls, and if they pinch them early enough, they will get main crop figs on their brown turkey, but it's not a variety that I would specifically plant with the intention of main crop figs. I would plant it if you want to get braver figs in probably August. And everywhere you look, there's, there's figs coming on this. That one's going to be ready in the next week or so. There's plenty more hidden. I mean, because the plant's so out of control, it's not so easy to spot them all. But nevertheless, um, there's a decent quantity on there and they'll probably get probably going to get 30 or 40 figs off this and if it was properly maintained and kept cut back and pruned correctly you could probably get 100 figs off it but I'm not sure if anybody wants to eat 100 figs the um, the after effects might be a little bit uh, unfortunate so anyway that was for people who are interested in figs a little bit and particularly what varieties um, brown turkey is Mr Reliable will give you Brabers and you can prune the plant specifically to encourage Brabers you probably can get um, main crop figs if, it, if you're in a very warm area and you're pr especially if you would pinch it and uh, encourage early formation of those main crop figs but I doubt we'll get any on this tree because they're just developing too late uh, but this winter I'll have to go in there and really cut it back hard again but obviously the key is to leave 
some shoots that will have the uh, that will develop the bravers for next year. So thank you for watching that video. I'm going to go and eat one or two of these extra ripe ones in a minute. Oh, that'll make a nice lunch for me as my parents are away, and the others I'll put in the fridge and hopefully they'll um, they'll last for a, a few days there and, and stay reasonably edible. Thanks for watching that video. Hope it'll prove useful to people thinking of growing figs. Definitely plant brown turkey if you're in a cooler part of the country or don't get particularly warm weather where you are and you want to focus on bravers. Uh, not the best fig to plant if you want to try and force main crop figs in the year, but there are plenty of varieties available that are earlier season. But the problem with the early season ones is because they wake up earlier, there's a very good chance the young bravers will be destroyed by frosts which is what happened on my large tree last year it woke up too early and we had some very cold weather and it wrecked all the bravers so think about what you're planting depending on your growing conditions and what kind of figs you're hoping to get and when you're hoping to get them so thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up welcome to of course uh, share the video if you think it'd be useful to anybody please subscribe to my channel and of course click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. I will catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.